In this video, we're going to look at accessing WordStat directly from Windows Explorer. This allows you to quickly and easily explore what's in your documents and provides an easy way of creating a project. WordStat allows you to create categorization models by creating content analysis dictionaries, like you see here, or classification models based on machine learning. You can publish these models and store them in an external model file that you can use in QDA Miner and our software development kit. In WordStat version 8, we've introduced a feature that allows you to access these models directly from Windows Explorer. Let's take a look at that now. Here I have a folder containing a number of documents. All I have to do is select the documents that I'd like to analyze, right-click, and select WordStat Content Analysis. We have four options. I can use Explore to see the most frequent words and phrases and to see in which documents they are contained and at what frequency. I can apply a previously published categorization model or a classification model using machine learning. I can also run WordStat. Before we start to explore, I want to show you another way to select documents. I can actually select an entire folder. Here I'm asked if I want to include subfolders, which I do, and choose the file types for inclusion. All file types that are supported by QDA Miner and WordStat are available in this list. So I'm going to choose everything except for PowerPoint and WordPerfect. After clicking yes, the software will go through the folder and subfolders and import the chosen documents. With the explore function, you can see the 100 most frequent words and phrases, and you can see a word cloud just below. For each word I select, I have the related documents in descending order of frequency, along with either the paragraph containing the selected word or the entire document. The word cloud is also searchable. Just a quick flashback. Remember, you could have chosen to apply either a categorization model or a classification model by choosing it from the menu when you initially open WordStat Document Explorer from Windows. If you are already in WordStat Document Explorer and you decide that you'd now like to apply a categorization or a classification model, you simply choose this button and then choose either categorization model or classification model. We'll go with a categorization model. Select your model, run the model. This allows you to see the categories in descending order of frequency, as well as the associated documents in descending order of frequency. You can select a document and you can open it. Now let's look at running WordStat on Documents in Explorer. This is the easiest way to create a project. It eliminates the need to know how to import documents into QDA Miner or WordStat. You simply select the files you want to analyze and go from there. Again, you can select the documents individually or select a folder containing the documents and then choose the desired file types. A temporary project is created containing three types of analysis. A word frequency analysis, phrase extraction, and topic modeling. This is WordStat Explore mode. If I want, from here I can change to Expert mode. 
You can use the Switch to Expert Mode button at the top of the screen or move to the menu at the left. Now I have access to all of WordStat's features, including crosstabs and co-occurrence analyses features. I can also build a categorization dictionary. From here, you can save the project file to disk. This first dialog asks you if you want to save the categorization model. We'll choose no because we haven't created one. However, if we had made a categorization model, you could choose yes here. If I select yes, I can save my project file to disk. This is an easy way to create a project that can be reused, reopened, and reanalyzed.